Hello everyone and welcome to the King of Shadows 1111 YouTube channel. This is Queen of Light 1111. I just taped this beautiful reading for all of you um, as my first reading for this channel. But you have to have 100 subs in order to post a reading that's over 15 minutes long. So I can't post it for you today. So if you guys are watching this video, please, please, please subscribe um, so that I can post that beautiful reading. It's a step-by-step -step, um, reading about the masculine's journey. So here is the, you know, the first reading that I'm going to be able to post, which is going to, can't be more than 15 minutes long. And this is just going to be a quick energy check-in on Divine Masculine, where he's at on his soul journey today, and where he's at as related to his divine counterpart. So let's go ahead and get started with the bottom of the deck. We have the Fertility card, which is the Empress card, the Six of Cups, and Pluto, which is also known as the Death card here. So I really feel like the bottom of the deck is really telling me what the theme is for the reading. And the theme is that the masculine is coming into his own um, inner, he's coming into connection with his own inner feminine, which will then help him reconnect with his sacred outer partner, his outer divine feminine. So I do feel like divine masculine's energies um, today, as far as his soul energy is concerned and what's going on with his feminine, has a lot to do with his own feelings, his own creation, perhaps even his own relation, his relationships with his mother, sisters, other females in his life. And it is bringing up some sort of nostalgia, some sort of memory, some, some part, some repetitive patterns that are really coming into his core, really getting into his spirit. And he's starting to go through the process of renewal and change. So where is Divine Feminine today on his current spiritual journey? Okay, what's the energy today? Number 17 card, it's called the Hope card, and it is the card, the Star card in Tarot. So what I'm really getting is Divine Masculine, as he's connecting to his inner feminine, as he's healing, as he's searching for renewal, he's finding hope. He is healing. He's coming into alignment. He is coming into enlightenment. And he's on this energy of really coming into the sun's energy. The sun is the divine masculine energy um, in the tarot, okay? We have the sun, which is the masculine, and the moon is the feminine. So I do feel like he is able to free himself from certain behaviors and patterns and karmic cycles. There is hope for him as he comes into more alignment, as he comes into uh, more healing. He feels inspired. He aspires aspires for success. He aspires for freedom. He's ready to complete this cycle in this lifetime and become a dominant leader. So where is he headed on his spiritual journey? Four of Wands, foundations and achievement. What I'm really getting for this is his own stability. As he's freeing himself from karmic cycles, as he's coming into his own alignment and becoming this leader, he is really headed into this energy of stability, of achieving his own stability, achieving his own independence. He is ready to set roots. He's ready to lay a stable foundation. And he's, he's studying this right now. He's in this energy of really getting into this energy, using his intuition so that in the future where he's headed, he can lay down a solid foundation for success, whether that's in his job, in love, on his spiritual journey, you know, in relationships, in familial relationships, what have you. Him coming into alignment and freeing himself to become a leader because he is coming into his own inner union is allowing him to free himself and set himself up for a very, very solid foundation where he's connecting to his intuition. So what is his energy towards his feminine at this time? And we have the root chakra. So I do feel like for Divine Masculine right now, he's very much in the energy of about what he has, okay? He's in the energy of, do I have enough? Do I have enough money? Do I have a good home? Do I have you know, um, the basics. Do I have the things that I need to sustain myself and hence my feminine? It's clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. 
So this is really telling me he was, he's really wanting to come into some sort of stability and abundance so that he can start to create something with feminine. He is in this energy of taking care of his body, taking care of his physical um, body, his physical environment. He's taking care of his practical needs so that he can create some sort of legacy and build something with divine feminine. So he's working on that right now. And so where is he headed with divine feminine, with all of this freedom and success and alignment, with now with this energy of really physically getting things together in the 3D. We know he's headed into stability. We know he's headed into listening to his intuition. Where is he headed with divine feminine? The wisdom card, which is also the hierophant. So where he's headed with divine feminine, he's really coming in to the energy of integrating his 3D education, his knowledge, his wisdom with his spirituality. He's in this energy of really working on his own inner guidance. We saw that here. That's what he's working on. He's working on his own inner guidance, his own inspiration to really connect with feminine who is like-minded. But until he comes into the energy of independence, of success on his own mental, spiritual, emotional, physical, this union right now is suspended. Where it's headed is towards him really coming into his intuition, into his own, into his independence. He's going to start looking at things from a new perspective. But I do, look at this, nine of pentacles, 10 of pentacles. He's working on it. He knows that his goal is this legacy with feminine. Where he's headed, he's working on achieving his independence to have this goal with divine feminine. So he's doing that in his journey now too freeing himself from karmic cycles so that he can build a stable foundation using his intuition and incorporating and bringing in this union with divine feminine. I hope this made sense. Please, please, please subscribe so I can play, so I can do longer videos. And if you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to Queen of Light, 1111.com. I'm running a full moon special through Sunday, 10% off my Twin Flame Energy check-in reading. Have a wonderful day. Bye.